What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effect Studios, and as you can tell, we are inside of a pro or a website called CoolUtilities.com, and we're looking at the Total Audio Converter. And what the Total Audio Converter is is that it converts audio files over. You can download the 30-day uh, trial. I strongly recommend it if you have audio files that you need to convert over. And we've got two files here. Both of them are the same file, uh, as you can tell by the size. It's just that they uh, were downloaded on two separate days. One on the day that it was released, and the other one was downloaded the other day to see if it was an issue with the downloadable file, which was not. And so what we, what we got here while we're installing, I want to explain the situation, is that whenever I install the program and um, I run the program and I convert files over, and then I go inside of Explorer, uh, it will crash Explorer. And uh, we will see all that here in just a few minutes after this is completed. Okay, what we're going to do right now is that we are going to grab a hold of some files and we're going to convert them over to MP3 format. And while we're doing this, I'm also going to actually show you how to use the program. So you select the files that you want. We're going to choose uh, MP3 for this one. And then we're going to add test to the end of our photo location because this is going to be for a test run. We're going to get rid of disk title because I never liked. The only thing I want is that I want the, the, track, ti the track number and then the track title is all that I want. So that's the way that I prefer to do mine. And so now we're going to go in. I'm actually narrating this video over it because I forgot to hook up my microphone. Do not choose combined album. That just makes it into one file. Click on next. I use the volume level set at zero right there in the middle. And I set it at 44100, which is default. And leave it at stereo. And then right here is very important. It's the VBR enabled. The VBR enable uh, allows you to keep all the metadata. That's uh, your title, your year, your uh, track number, and everything else embedded inside the MP3 file. If you do not have VBR enabled, then it will not take that information and put it inside or encode it inside the MP3 file. So make sure that the VBR is enabled. Click on Next. And then let's go ahead and click on Start. Okay, we have uh, already converted over the three files that we chose, and next we are going to uh, go over into our folder, and we're going to close out of everything, and then we're actually going to uh, see if we can't cause the system to crash, or actually cause Explorer to crash. And so, um, okay, so we're going to go inside the folder. Okay, well, like, what I'm going to do here is I'm just sim simply just going to right click on the files and uh, until it crashes. And as you can tell, it seems like it's locked up on us. I'm actually narrating this over after the fact because I forgot to hook my microphone back up. So yeah, as you can tell, it just crashed. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to go inside of the event viewer and we're going to take a look at the event that was caused by this crash. And you can get to the event viewer by right clicking on the start menu as you saw I did right there. And as you can see our very first uh, information error reporting window uh, lets us know that we did have an app crash and that it came from the AX Total Converter 64.dll file. But the actual error, application error, happened right here. And this is all the information that you would get from an app crash that you would need to send to the developers of the program in order for them to be able to help to identify what the cause uh, uh, can be or what the cause was. So this is how I was able to resolve this issue. Uh, we're going to um, copy our file or our folder. We're going to go inside of our media folder. We're going to paste the uh, program folder right there. And now the next thing we're going to do is that we're actually going to uninstall the program. And um, we're going to right click on the start menu, go up to apps and features. Okay, and there's Total Audio Converter. We're going to uninstall the Audio Converter. Inside of this folder right here, this is the one that we copied over. You can actually launch the program. Even though we've uninstalled it, you can launch the program. 
Okay, so we've already finished. We're going to go ahead and close out of everything and uh, all of our windows. We're going to copy our uh, URL to our address there, our address uh, directory. Paste it in right there. So what we're doing here is that I want to sit here and just randomly right click and on it because whenever I right clicked on it uh, before it crashed Explorer and as you can tell it's not crashing Explorer now. So there's something that gets installed which I believe I know what it is that causes the problem. I am Wayne Barron this is Dark Effect Studios with how to use the total audio converter also on a bug report. Y'all have a good one now. Bye bye.